Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate you guys. We're back here um, today, and uh, we're, all, we're not going to be down here long this week. But what we must get done is we need to get the rest of this floor taken up here, get all the materials that we need, and start framing this up and getting this floor laid before we go back home. Um, it's quite a bit to do, but I'm hoping that in... I'm going to say two hours, two hours. I want this floor up and out of here. And then we're going to go to Home Depot. Now, something you can do to try and save yourself some money. Um, what we're going to do, in fact, let me, I'm going to put the camera over here. One of the things we're going to do to save some money with is having a Home Depot accounts. A couple of things you can do is... If you have a Home Depot account, first of all, they have their per rewards. So every time you spend $5,000, you get $50 of money. Okay, so I mean, I know that's not a lot, but $50 is $50. Second thing is, if you're buying in bulk or buying a lot of materials, they have now their volume pricing. So you'll get a better price on the materials through that. The next thing is if you have a Home Depot credit card. Now understand the credit card, they love you to charge stuff on the credit card because it's at like 20% interest on there. In which case, they're making a lot of money on you if you don't pay it off right away. However, this is where you can kind of milk the system to save yourself a little bit more money. They have, you know, like once a month or every other month or so, They'll send you a coupon that is 10% off or 24 months, zero interest. Now, here's the thing. You can only do, um, the most you can get off is $200, but $200 is $200. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to use our 10% off coupon and we're going to buy the lumber that we need to fix the floor here. We're going to buy the vanity, the medicine cabinet. We're going to buy the light fixtures. We're going to buy all that stuff and do it as one purchase. You know, spend roughly $2,200 or so. And then get that 10% off. That 10% off is going to be $200 in our pocket. The next thing that's actually going to be good is if you are, um, if you do shop at Home Depot, they have their per award system. And I told you when you spend, you know, $5,000, you get $50, which it's not a whole lot. But if you do a lot of spending, if you spend $100,000 in a year, well, guess what? That's $500 in your pocket. That sounds a lot better. But they also will have special deals for you because you're a contractor. And in this case, they ended up sending the, their paint rewards. If you spend a lot of money on paint, you know, they have different tiers. The basic tier is 10%. The next one is 15%. The third tier, the gold, is 20% um, off, okay? I'm, I'm the 10% the, the, the is what I'm at, but still, 10% is still 10%. For a week only, they have 20% off. You're giving you basically the gold prices on paint. Now, me, I like to go ahead and use the same colors in one place that way I can just go buy a five gallon bucket because it's cheaper generally speaking to buy it in five gallon buckets. Getting that 20% off actually helps quite a bit. So we'll go through um, and I'll buy because I've got a couple other properties that we're going to have to do painting and stuff on there. I'll go through and I'll buy a five gallon bucket of white semi-gloss with a couple of drops of black in it so it covers better. I'll buy a five gallon bucket of semi gloss for the kitchens and bathrooms, and then I'll buy a couple more buckets there. And I'll use that 20% off coupon um, on that paint. So that way, you know, nobody wants to pay more than you have to, but it pays to buy, you know, using the coupons and the reward systems. So that's what we're going to do. What I'm also going to do here is I'm going to go through, got me plenty of good wrecker blades the funny thing is is these suckers don't last for long when you start hitting a few nails but these are made so that way they can go through nails and wood but i'm going to basically go through and just try and cut this into strips and see how quickly we can get this sucker out of here so that's what we're going to do i'm going to get to work
Well, that's 36 minutes, and I lasted longer than the batteries. Unfortunately, one of the batteries we thought was able to be recharged um, is dead. And those are not cheap batteries. Those are like $169 a piece. But, whew, definitely. So you can see they had two boards here for the sill board. Those are bad, but we'll end up putting down a new sill board across there. This one's okay over here. So we'll end up notching the uh, floor joists to meet it. And that will make it better. We'll pull off all of this so we'll have all new sill boards around in here. Frame it up and get it done. We've got, these are the old radiator lines that used to be in here. We'll cut these pipes out of here and clean up underneath of this. We'll take out the copper, of course, and we can take that to the scrap metal place to uh, be redone. And you can see there's the sewer pipe right there. And we'll also put a vapor barrier in here and we'll cut out these pipes. That feels good to get that much started and done and out of here. Um, this is great because we got to get out and get back home earlier tomorrow. Um, we've unfortunately got to take care of some sad, sad stuff tomorrow. I think this one's charged. Okay, we might have a battery that's charged. This reminds me of, um, damn, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Um, with the terrorist where he's a spy and his wife doesn't know he's a spy. It reminds me of when the bad guys are there and they're filming and the guy's got the camera and realizes that the battery's not charged. And he says, batteries exist. I guess that means the battery's dead. Well, go get another one. He did. Okay, so we're going to pull out the ridge boards that are over here, the silver plate, and we're going to replace that. And over in here, um, we got to finish taking off these last few pieces right there. And what we'll do is we'll start framing up and on 16 on centers coming through here. We've cut all the old pipe. We're going to get that out of here. We're going to clean up the stuff that's in here. And um, we'll put down a vapor barrier so that way it'll keep the moisture from going out. As an added, added layer of protection, uh, just to make sure, and probably if this does rot out, I'll probably be dead myself. But we actually got pressure-treated lumber to go up underneath of here. Um, the funny thing, or the amazing thing was that pressure-treated lumber was actually cheaper. Uh, $3, as a matter of fact, per board for the floor joists. So uh, each one of the 2 by 10s that we got, 12 foot, were $26 a piece. Still kind of high, but you know what? It's, it's what we need to get this job done. So we're going to start doing some of this. I had planned on spending the night down here and working on this, but unfortunately, um, Michael's dog, Roscoe, who's about 17 years old in people years, is not doing good. And unfortunately, he's going to actually be put to sleep tomorrow, sadly. So we're going to go back up the road tonight so that way we can deal with that so we won't get as much done as I wanted. But, you know... Life is precious. You gotta enjoy everything while you can. So, work here for maybe another hour or so, and then we're gonna get out of here. 
I did go to Home Depot. We did save some money with the uh, Pro Rewards as well as the uh, save two hundred dollars on. We spent twenty four hundred dollars. We saved two hundred at least with a ten percent off uh, coupon. You get a maximum of two hundred dollars, so every bit counts. And the other thing is, down here in the country, the gas is actually three eighty two. So as opposed to buy my house, which is like four forty nine. I keep filling up down here, and that's another way that I save at least a little bit of money. So I hope you guys enjoyed what we've done so far today. And we're going to keep on going at this for a bit and then head on up the road. Peace. All right, so you can see we got the sill plate in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pull and bring the wood in. Uh, and just have it here in place. Then we come back, we'll frame it up. Now, the rest is easy. We got the vapor barrier in place. Uh, we'll just basically go 16 on centers on here. We've got the plywood down there. And uh, we actually, for only being here about seven hours, to think that we picked up all the materials that we need uh, from mini blinds to light fixtures and toilets and everything else and the lumber and ripped us out and started framing it. We actually did pretty good. Appreciate you guys being here and Next week, we'll be back and frame this up and check out the kitchen. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you. Didn't get as much done as I had planned to, but for one day, we did good. We got all the lumber in here. We got the still place in, in place. We got the vapor barrier. We got the rest of the floor out. We got materials. So when we come down next week, we just start working. We just start busting a hump and tear through this thing. Hope you guys are having a great Taco Tuesday, and I will see you soon.